K9 RMR. K9 RMR. over to somebody else or um, setting a timer for 10 minutes. Uh, I know a lot of people who've done that in the past. Um, I don't know that there's any specific etiquette. It tends to uh, depend on the frequency being used and what kind of a net it is and that sort of thing. But on HF, folks will usually give their call sign almost every transmission, unless it's on CW and they're just uh, operating uh, full break-in and zipping back and forth with stuff and not wanting to slow things down by giving the call sign every time, but still those guys stay easily within the 10-minute limit. That's really, that 10-minute limit is the, uh, the only particular guideline I can think of that's hard and fast. Uh, John, your thoughts? KG9DK in the group, N9CJT. Uh, this is KG9DK. Well, I, um, I, I, uh, 10 minutes is the one that I've always heard, and uh, well, a lot of times what I do is uh, I acknowledge my call uh, most times when I pick the mic up unless the conversations are really quick, one or two word uh, questions and, and answers, you know. But, uh, and then uh, if I get long-winded and I think, hey, I'm, I need to drop it down and, and let the repeater do its thing and come back, I might I might go ahead and, and uh, put my call in or acknowledge the uh, station I'm talking to, too. Uh, personally, I think as long as you do the 10-minute rule thing and uh, I... It all depends what group you're in, and and probably uh, um, how rigid the particular net is. I mean, if you're you know working in emergency conditions, things like that, it's going to be a little different than you know get our normal lot of conversation right here on this net. And while I've got the mic button down, I'll give you guys, Mike, you uh, on my radio on my meter, it's like 40 on the S. S meter and uh, no, you're coming in at a whopping 60 tonight. Uh, the other question I might bring up, no, is uh, expand on your CB interest. Uh, it's been a long time since I've heard that word. I I used to be have a CB unit in my rig in my car uh, before I became a ham, and uh, it, I used it a little bit. I never did uh, go past the five watt thing, though. But that was sort of interesting to write along with. This is KG9DK, back to the control. Okay. Um, I'll answer that in just a minute, John. Do we have any additional check-ins? N9CJT in the net. KB5SDX, good evening. Glad to hear you. Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Is it Wendell? On this one is Gordon. Uh, thought I'd check in there this evening. Didn't know if I was going to be able to make it or not. Figured I'd give y'all a shout. I went down to the 
Bloomington. Nope, that's not right. The Bedford. Over there, there's Hoosier. Damn, that's it. Additional check ins and nine CJT in the simplex fellowship net. Kilo nine Romeo Mike Romeo, repeat K9 RMR. Okay, well, Gordon, I'm glad you checked in and please stick around. We'll get back to you. Uh, John, to uh, was it John that asked the question about CB? Uh, that's correct, no. Okay. Now let's see, um, in probably 1970, um, I visited friends in Chattanooga, Tennessee. They had a wire antenna on the roof of the house. It was this pretty amazing Frank Lloyd Wright house that most of the material came right from the property that it was built on it was on Missionary Ridge which is kind of a high point and uh, that wire antenna was for 11 meters homemade and they had a CB radio so I was given an opportunity to play with it a little bit discovered that there were a lot of friendly folks around they wanted to know what my handle was, so I made one up right on the spot. It stuck with me ever since. Uh, but uh, more recently, um, there's a lot of weird traffic and subsequent traffic problems along the I-70 corridor between Indiana and Colorado. And sometimes it just makes sense to able to ask what's coming up or um, let me reset here in case my radio times out or tell the guy that has struggled to get past me uh, that he can move back over because there are you know, like 20 cars piled up behind him that want to be going 100 miles an hour when we're going only 75. Uh, and uh, when, let's see, going back in history, when uh, KC9TXR passed away, uh, one of the pieces of equipment that I purchased from the estate was a Cobra handheld uh, it's a combination CB and weather radio, and it'll run either 4 watts or 1 watt, and I found that little gizmo useful. The um, guy here in town couldn't tell the difference between 4 watts and 1 watt, but anyway, uh, going back to the 70s, early 80s, actually. No, I guess it was still late 70s. Let me reset again. Um, Columbus had quite a hopping CB community, and I got involved with Bartholomew County REACT, and we did a lot of uh, storm monitoring and emergency services. There were a lot of people who used CB back then, 
kind of like uh, cell phones are used nowadays. And if someone was uh, experiencing some illegal activity uh, that threatened their life or property, they might hop on Channel 9 and uh, report it. And so I got involved with relaying that kind of information. Uh, I still think it would be a great service, and if the new Madrid quake cuts loose and wipes out everything anytime soon, it might become a great service again. Who knows? Uh, let's see. We'll go back up to the top as soon as we get additional check-ins. Anyone out there wanting to jump in and join the group? Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike Romeo, repeat, K9 RMR. Randall, Tiersville, Bartholomew County. Nothing heard. So, KG9DK, any other comments, John? K9RMR, repeat, Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike, Romeo. Randall and Ruth, Tiersville, Bartholomew County. Uh, like I say, I had TV and the radio for a few years before I got a ham ticket. Um, I thought you said that you are doing listing or talking on it currently today, I uh, might ask you uh, on that corridor, is that uh, what frequent or channel, I suppose, next time you uh, uh, get on the mic and tell me uh, what channel you would be the best to listen to. A lot of times I do monitor various things, and uh, I know one of the things I did monitor last week uh, on HF, there's a net... Uh, uh, it's, a, it's on frequency is uh, 7.268, and it comes on at 3 p.m. I think it's called the, don't quote me on it, I think it's called a 68 net, and then it goes 3 to 5, but the, from 4 to 5, they call it the 73, I suppose. Uh, so sort of like saying 73 is that last star. It's a pretty interesting HF net, and the signals all came in pretty good um, in the eastern part of the country here. But... Um, Anyhow, I was just uh, thought I, if you had a frequency on the CB thing, I might uh, plug it into this my radio for just to listen and see what goes on. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, I will return back to net control. This is KG90K. Back to net. A oh, quick answer, John. Um, that would be 27.185 megahertz. Now that's the CB channel 19. And that's what I was uh, using for my audio map, I guess you'd say, while I was traveling. Um, break with you. This is a 9 cjt This is the Simplex Fellowship Net. And Mike, WE9MI, anything additional for me? Noise at my QTH. There, there is no noise floor on this FM signal. Um... Don't think I forgot to respond to anything. So, Gordon, it's your turn. KB5SDX in the group N9CJT. Is anyone copying Gordon? Thank you here. I guess we'll get back to him a little later. This is N9CJT. This is the Simplex Fellowship Net. We're a half hour in, and do we have any additional check-ins? Please call now. Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike, Romeo, repeat, this is K9, RMR, Randall M. Root, Taylorsville, Bartholomew County. I'm on the, the old dial thing. I thought I'd try it out tonight and see if it was still working. So can you hear me? Uh, again, this is Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike, Romeo, repeat, K9, RMR. Putting up antennas and doing antenna repair and that sort of thing started with CB as well. There was a gentleman whose handle was Sawfiler who lived on Central Avenue back in the 1970s. He had a, I believe it was called a Starduster antenna. Uh, and those were designed such that eventually the connector that fastened the radiating element onto the rest of it would work loose and the radiating element would start flopping around. And... Uh, my first antenna work was to get that thing off his chimney, tighten up the radiating element, and put it back up. Um, he was a 
really nice guy and very appreciative of the help because he was quite elderly at the time and uh, did not have the ability to go up there and fix it on his own, which is why uh, another fellow cb -er and eventually fellow ham radio operator, but his CB handle was a glass breaker, and I teamed up to do that work. Um, speaking of glass breaker, he passed away uh, a week ago Friday, uh, age 69, if I remember correctly. Really nice guy. Um, and uh, apparently he just had all of a sudden a massive heart attack and he was gone. So, uh, still a little surprised by that. I wasn't expecting him to go anytime soon. But that happened. So, John, uh, KG9DK, and the group, N9CJT, go ahead. This is KG9DK. Uh, sorry to hear about your friend passing there, Noel. Uh, I know uh, acquaintance from that you've had in the past. Sometimes uh, it leaves a loss there, and uh, so. Uh, and mostly, uh, I remember some of our radio folks that used to be on on our different nets here, and and I still think of them time to time, and sort of miss them. Uh, some of the ways they had of, of announcing things, but uh, yeah, on the on the CB thing, uh, I don't trying to think if I ever had a base station. I think most of my CB was in the car, in the vehicle, and uh, uh, while you was talking, I was trying to rather uh, remember uh, just what kind of base antenna I have, and I couldn't come up with too much of anything, and I think... Uh, I think I must have been mostly in the CB realm of um, automobile, and I, if I had a, if I had a code name, I don't remember it. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, that happens to me a lot. Um, the other, uh, I guess that's about. Oh, I'll probably bring up tonight. Uh, eventually, one of these days, I might want to bring up uh, programming handhelds and. And I think uh, most of the folks here on this net are talking on handhelds. Um, I've been wondering with the uh, with the new radiation thing, is it still safe to hold the handhelds and talk in the speaker mic, or do you have an external mic and uh, and the hand handheld goes to an external antenna? You might make a quick comment on that, and uh, uh, because I've been trying to think uh, what I'm going to do with mine. I finally managed to program one channel in, and so I can I can do it. It's just a matter of setting down and, and going through the process. Uh, with that, this is KG9DK, and I'll return back to net control. Okay, John. Well, I won't respond yet, but we'll let the other guys do it. And uh, do we have any additional check-ins before we move on? Kilo 9, Romeo, Mac Romeo, repeat, K9, RMR. Okay, uh, Mike, W9MI, I think it's your turn, and uh, you probably heard John's question, so go for it. And 9 cjt On a base station, also, play, our, play around with different antennas. I've got an inside antenna. kind of outside antenna, but normally uh, two meters I'll do mostly with the inside. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. Um, and I will uh, stick around for another round, and then uh, probably before too long I gotta go get some of my chores done for the night, but uh, I'll stick around for a while. Uh, so, uh, Noel and the uh, group, uh, W9MI, back to net control. Recognized. Stand by one, and we'll see if there is anyone else wanting to check in. Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike Romeo, repeat, K9 RMR, Rendell and Ruth. 
Terzo, Botami County. Uh, I'm on a different radio now, so I'm trying to check in. I got you about S6 here, Randall. You're doing fine at the moment. Um, let me go on to uh, catch Gordon, and then we'll come back to Joe and then Randall. Um, Gordon, are you back yet? KB5 SDX at 9CJ Team Degree. Yes, not. Okay. Um, go ahead, Joe. K9 OPL in the group at 9 CJT. N9 CJT in the group. Go ahead, Randall. Okay, can you can you hear me now? K9 Armor, can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you fine. Uh, you were a bit covered up by N9 GRR identification, but uh, Dale hasn't jumped in and joined the group yet, so go right ahead. Okay, well, I was uh, I've been trying to get get on uh, get a hold of you guys for about 10, 15 minutes now. Uh, I pulled out the old bow thing and was trying to get it to work, see if it would still uh, do anything or would. Uh, I was able to receive you very well on the bow fang, um, but obviously uh, the transmit was either not working or not reaching anybody or whatever. So uh, I'm on the Kenwood or now again. So. Uh, I guess that, that bow fang's uh, pretty good for listening, but it's not very good for transmitting. So um, uh, I'm trying to, as far as CB, I heard you talking about the CB radios, and I remember uh, my dad used to have one, and he, he had his old green truck, uh, and uh, he had it, that truck for years and years, and uh, he had a CB in it, and he had, he had some uh, people he would talk to, and... Uh, Occasionally, as we were going different places and doing different things, uh, but uh, I, we didn't use it a whole lot. But he did use it every once in a while, and he uh, enjoyed what, when he did use it. He enjoyed using it. So uh, uh, I have memories of him, like I said, him in that old green truck uh, using a CB radio. And uh, with that, I'll send it back to Net Control. Okay, Randall. Well. Yeah, back in the 70s and 80s, there was uh, quite a nice community of CB radio operators in this area. And uh, in a way, I kind of miss that. Uh, we had kind of a nice community in the 90s, uh, of, and, and even into the year 2000 and beyond, of uh, ham radio operators here, which seems to have dwindled substantially in activity. And so let's see, I think it was, oh, here goes my brain again. John, were you the one talking about deceased TAMs besides me? Sure. Okay. Well, I uh, remember a lot of people who aren't around anymore. Uh, Till Kinzer, KI9R, was my Elmer as I attempted to get my code speed up above five words a minute. And he also tutored me in net protocol. Uh, he's been gone a long time. Uh, Paul, W9ALQ, his call is on the 79 repeater. Uh, but when I first heard that call, it was. Uh, the voice of a very nice gentleman that was a two-way radio businessman here in Columbus for decades and uh, has left us a legacy of a place for our repeater, at least for the time being. It's still there. Uh, let's see, Bruce, uh, WD9... DW something. DWD. WD9 DWD. Bruce Sprague. I bought a, a, a Yesu mobile radio from him back in the, uh, I'm going to say, early 1980s. And he farmed up north of town. And he's been gone quite a while. Uh, of course, everybody knew Scotty, uh, KB9WCQ, I think was his call, and uh, 
Scotty used to run a DJ net once a week that had quite a bit of attendance from hams and CBers alike, except the CBers had their licenses because it was on ham frequency. And uh, my good friend Alvin, uh, KA9QLQ, who's been gone, I think, six years now, uh, maybe longer. Maybe I'm a little off, but anyway, Alvin's not been around for a number of years. And he was always around, and I really enjoyed chatting with him. So anyway, that's my list. Uh, uh, we'll give Gordon another call since we've missed him the last two go-arounds. But Gordon, are you there? This is N9CJT. This is the South Sun. Uh, no, this is the Simplex Fellowship Net. This net meets every Friday evening at 7.30 p.m. local time. Do we have any additional check-ins? O-E-9-M-I, N-9-C-J-T. N-9-C-J-T in the group from W-9-M-I. Um, not a whole lot. Um, so while uh, Joe was talking, and I, I can't pick him that well out of the... Uh, out of the static, so I might have to find a slightly different location to try to hear him from, but uh, um, I played around and uh, unplugged my, what I think or thought was a pretty noisy power supply to uh, see if that was making the difference and changed over to a 12-volt lithium iron polymer battery. Remember when Lois K9 iOS and Marion WV9 HTN moved into town? They had a terrible noise level on two meters. Or, well, maybe it wasn't two meters. Maybe it was the HF set. I forget which now. But did a little bit of tracking and uh, discovered that uh, if we unplugged the wall wart that was powering the portable phone in the kitchen, uh, all that noise disappeared. And uh, let's see, uh, AC9R came in with some op optional power supplies to see if he could power the phone in the kitchen without ripping up the neighborhood with RF. And he found one that was quiet enough. And so that took care of the problem for Marion and Lois. So you might look at wall warts that are charging stuff or that are providing, uh, well, even I know some AM, FM radios have a wall ward instead of an internal power supply, so you might look at those. That's my two cents worth. John, KG9DK, pick it up and add any thoughts you have. noise problems time to time, but my biggest noise generator is uh, I've got a, I've got a uh, soldering arm that uh, I guess I call a smart soldering arm, and it has a lot of little cells and muscles on it, but it does really create noise. So uh, if I have the soldering arm on, I'm usually not going to be using a microphone, uh, so I just turn it off during, during that time. Other than that, I think everything you said is are the things I've checked for in the past. Some some do, some don't, and uh, so it's uh, sort of like searching and an aha moment when you find it. <laughs> but uh, that's about it. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Oh, I got to make comment on Randall. I I could just tell he's in there. I dropped my squelch down, and I couldn't get much better. So and I used to receive him quite well. Uh, I did have a question for Randall. You might have to relay it. It seemed like when we check in on the um, on the uh, Tuesday night that I think it is, a lot of time I hear it sounds like he gives his call and he says he's in route. Am I mishearing something there? This is KG9DK back in net control. Well, I might be able to answer that one actually, because um, what he usually says after K9RMR is his name, Randall M. Roof. Okay, that's exactly it. In route, right? Okay. And I thought, man, every time we're on the net, he's he's coming home from somewhere. Uh, my bad, I guess. Uh, but my hearing's not as good anymore as it used to be either. A lot of things are not that good anymore. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and sign, and uh, I'll monitor one more round, and uh, and then I've got to go uh, fix the fix me something. It's been nice talking to everyone tonight, and. Uh, uh, just have to, uh, I, now I got the uh, schedule on my phone. I don't forget quite as, quite as easy as I have been in the past. This is KG9DK uh, saying good evening to the net and uh, good evening to you, know. Um, did anyone pick that up and would like to relay it in? I'm not picking that up at all. Okay, 7-3, um, John. Thanks for joining us this evening. Got a pretty decent group now. Um, Joe, K nine OPL. Uh, any additional thoughts on hunting down uh, noise in the QTH? Over. That for this Friday evening. Uh, do we have any additional check-ins? K nine RMR recheck. I was just about to get to you on the list, Randall, so go ahead, N9CJT. Okay, I appreciate that. I didn't know, it sounded like you were about ready to close out. So uh, I was able to uh, hear, hear uh, John's comments and uh, that's good advice. I probably need to, when I speak, sometimes I get, get you know what I'm saying, I get uh, tongue tied or uh, speak a lot. I need to sl slow down and pronunciate more clearly. Uh, Another thing I was I was wanting to do here, uh, since we're on the simplex and not the repeater, um, uh, I gave up on the Balfang. The Balfang apparently isn't worth anything tonight as far as transmitting. Uh, it receives pretty good though. Uh, what I was wanting to do is I, I got the uh, 15.5 whip antenna on, and I was wanting to maybe uh, switch over to the uh, the one that came with the radio, which was the seven-inch antenna. And then uh, see if there was any change in quality or signal or background static or whatever, and just you know see if there's a difference and uh, what those differences were. If, uh, if you want to do that, we can give it. A, I'd like to give that a try. Okay, everybody, stand by for a minute. Randall, go ahead and switch antennas, and we'll give you some feedback. Okay. Okay, this is K9RMR, Randall and Maroof. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. Slow down. Be, this is Kilo 9, Romeo, Mike, Romeo. Repeat, this is K9RMR, Randall M. Roof in Thayersville. Uh, I'm now on the original, uh, the one, the intent, the 7 inch antenna that came with the Kenwood THD 74A. Uh, I believe it's 7 inches. Uh, I think it's or 7.25 or something like that, but approximately 7 inches. And like I said, if, uh, you can give me a signal report and uh, let me know if there's any difference. If not, uh, that's okay. I may stick with. I may go back to using it because it's a smaller antenna. But uh, if there's a big difference, uh, obviously I'm going to go back to the uh, the bigger antenna. So uh, again, uh, this is K9RMR. Back to net control. Wow, that's weird, uh, Randall. What I heard. Uh, or rather saw, was that your signal dropped and uh, it was waving back and forth somewhere between 6 and 12 dB below what the uh, longer antenna was putting in here at my QTH. Uh, let's see, Mike, could you hear a difference? 
uh, nothing above the noise floor. Uh, I could I could hear a word or two, give or take, uh, previously, but uh, with I couldn't hear that he was talking at all after apparently the, in, the intended change. W9MI. And Joe, anything? Uh, K9OPL, could you hear a difference with Randall's transmission? Try to take away everything he owns. Oh well. Um, Gordon, KB5SDX, are you back? I'm the only one to give you some feedback, Randall, and you've already got it from me, so hope that helped. Any other comments before we move on? Over. Uh, no, that's all I got. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back. Uh, give me give me about five seconds here, and I'll switch back and uh, see see if you can uh, anybody else can see a difference. Hold, give me about five seconds here. Hold on. Okay. K9RMR again. Uh, back to net control. Uh, I'm on uh, five watts, and I got the uh, the larger the 15.5 uh, whip antenna out, and uh, seeing. I think since you were the only one that could pick me up with the uh, smaller antenna, I'd be interested in seeing if there was anybody else that could uh, that can hear me now besides you. Uh, now that I've switched back to the uh, bigger antenna, uh, K9 RMR back to net control. Have at it, guys. Anybody else pick up Randall when he went back to the big antenna? You came back up two full less units when you switched antennas, so I would definitely stick with the better one. Just think what it would be like if you had a nice antenna up on your chimney or 30 feet in the roof, in, in the, the, what do you call that, uh, up in the sky or something like that. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, hint, hint, elbow in the ribs. Um, so, uh, looping around, KG9DK is already signed, uh, and 9 grr is still transmitting occasionally. Uh, Mike, W9MI, uh, anything to add before I start slowing down? Over. Uh, W9MI. Um, I did hear what sounded like a uh, Morse code ident um, while I think Randall was talking. Uh, so that was interesting. I only caught one letter, and I think it was the last letter was a W, but uh, I <laughs> need a little more code quick before I can get weak signals uh, real well yet. But uh, other than that, uh, no, I don't have anything else. Uh, I think I am going to sign off as well. Uh, appreciate your setting this up, Noel, and, and refereeing, and having a good enough receiver and good enough location that you can <laughs> apparently hear everybody where uh, where I definitely cannot. But uh, anyway, um, wish everyone the best. Seven three, and uh, after this, I will uh, be signing off and going back to life. W9MI. <laughs> going back to life. I like that. Okay, Mike sign two. Gordon, KB5SDX. Uh, one last call to see if you're still around. Over. From Gordon. Maybe he was mobile. Uh, K9OPL. Joe, anything else? Anyway, um, you were stronger on the handheld than you were on that mag mount thingy you've got on the pole nearby. Um, I don't know what power level you were running off the other radio, but um, the handheld is definitely making it to my QTH. Over. If you say so. The only way I could tell a difference was that you've got a little bit different audio sound when you transmit on the handy talkie. It's not quite as crisp, but it's uh, it's a full spectrum audio, which is kind of surprising. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself. Uh, Joe, um, this is KG9DK for ID. Um, on your handheld, I was getting an S9, good audio, very clear. On your uh, other radio, I was getting a, a plus 40, and uh, uh, it. Um, it was much. It was. It was. The audio was probably the same as for clarity and all that. 
but you did have a stronger uh, output on my S meter on the uh, on the first radio you checked in with. This is KG9DK back in net. There you have it, Joe. Is any other comments before we start closing down, Joe? Uh, K9JHA, since you've been so patient. Uh, since we quit asking for check-ins every five seconds. Um, you want to check in now? Okay, K9 RMR, uh, we're all in the process of signing. Any final comments from you, over? Well, not a whole lot. Uh, I did notice with uh, SD9DK, uh, when he was transmitting, uh, the little graph on my radio said about two, uh, out of nine bars, and I, it was just kind of weird. I was kind of messing with the antenna, trying to hold it and bend it and go it different ways, and when I held it and bend it uh, just a little bit uh, at the top of the antenna, just holding it, uh, his signal went from a two to about a four. So so I guess uh, there's that uh, as far as the signal report. Um other than that, uh, not a whole lot going on, so I uh, appreciate you doing the net this evening and letting me do a re uh, test of my different antennas and getting some more information about that. So uh, uh, with that, I will say uh, thanks again for doing the net and back to net control. This is K9RMR 73. Okay, Randall. Well, I guess that pretty well sums things up. KG9DK, thank you again for jumping back in. WE9MI, glad to have you with us this evening. Gordon, if you're listening, KB5SDX, uh, glad to have you check in, even if we lost you somewhere in there. 7-3 uh, to you, Joe, and talk to you later. And uh, thanks again, Randall, for your participation. And this is N9CJT, uh, net control for this session of the Simplex Fellowship Net. Uh, any additional check-ins before I pull my plug? We're in off the air. BVI. WT BVI KC9FT. KC9FT clear. In the NCJT k 9 rmr uh, just wondering, did you, uh, I got some, uh, traffic from Dale. Uh, was just wondering if you, uh, you closed, did you officially close the net? QRZ, KC9FQ. KC9FQ, K9RMR. How are you doing this evening, Dale? Excuse me, K9RMR, KC9FQ. Go ahead, sir. Oh, I just, uh, Noel was running the net, and I didn't know if he had finished uh, doing, uh, right before you came on, he uh, was still going, or I thought he was still going, I don't know. Uh, uh, I was just calling in to see if uh, he had officially closed the net or not, and then I heard you talking to somebody, so I thought, well, maybe he did, so I didn't know, and uh, so I just thought I'd say hi either way, so hopefully you're doing okay. Um this is uh, K9 RMR. Yeah, I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Oh, can't complain. Uh, we're doing some work around the house, getting some stuff done. Uh, we're going to have, uh, we got a crack in our ceiling, and we're going to have a guy come in and uh, do some repair work. So we're, <laughs> we're cleaning it up before he gets here, so... Uh, we're uh, moving stuff around and getting stuff cleaned up so he can <laughs> clean up stuff. You know how it goes. Um, but uh, aside from that, not a whole lot of exciting going on. On their signal, so I'm, I'm old. I'm 74 years old. So it's kind of difficult to pick out what you're saying sometimes. But uh, I hear you. Yeah, I heard a guy on the net a while ago, and I've seen him on packet on 145.05, just trying to see 
what his beacon was broadcasting. Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but uh, that's all I was doing. Go ahead. Well, I've got that. Uh, I've got that feature on this radio, but uh, I've never really messed with it. And uh, like I said, I think he. Uh, I don't know anybody that really does a whole lot of it. So at least locally, so uh, I really haven't messed with it. And uh, so I think uh, I've heard him and Joe uh, talking about doing it some, but that's about it. And like I said, I just, it's one of those things I haven't really messed with. And, uh, I got the, I got the instruction manual for the radio still, obviously, but, uh, so I could look, read that, but I just haven't, it, I haven't put it a priority on doing it. So, um, with that in mind, uh, you doing okay? I mean, everything going good in your neck of the woods. It's getting a little cooler out. So, uh, I'm enjoying that. I, I, Personally, I like the cool weather over the warm weather. So, uh, with that, I'll send it back to you. K9 Armor. <laughs> Breaking up all the leaves around here. I got a big tulip poplar out in the front yard. That, oh, man. Leaves are just something else. <laughs> just ask my neighbor. My predominant winds are out of the southwest. It just covers her yard with my leaves. Fortunately, she's a good soul, so, <laughs> yeah. Back to you, KC9FQ. KC9FQ, this is K9RMR again. Well, well, that's good that uh, you got good neighbors. That always... <laughs> That comes in handy. Uh, it's nice to have. Uh, we have a guy that uh, does our yard, uh, that mows it and trims it and everything. He does a really good job. Uh, and uh, so our yard usually looks, for the most part, us not always, but usually looks pretty good. So uh, he comes once a week and does his thing. and uh, makes it, You can tell it makes a big difference, um, especially with all the rain we've been getting lately. Uh, it's... Uh, it's been growing really good. I mean, it's definitely been a year for the green grass. So, uh, and like I said, we're supposed to be getting more rain and more rain. So, um, in fact, he probably would have come today if I think uh, he normally comes on Thursday, but he been coming on Friday because of the rain and everything. So, uh, like I said, aside from that, not not a whole lot going on. I'm just like I said, take taking it easy tonight and uh like i said i'm enjoying the cooler weather because i like i like the cold weather so uh with that i'll send it back to you yeah i like this time of year my air conditioning doesn't hardly ever come on and my heating the uh furnace doesn't ever come on so <laughs> that's uh that's a big help. Okay, see you. Yeah, like I said, I enjoy the cool weather, and uh, I remember, I remember Dad used to say, uh, he's not alive anymore, but he used to say, winter time was better because, as compared to summer, because he said in summertime, you can't always take off enough clothes, but in winter time, you can always put enough, you can always put more clothes on, but uh, when it gets so another the idea was being you know when it gets when it gets cold you can p put more clothes on but when it gets hot you're kind of not a whole lot you can do once it gets so hot so uh, he was the kind of person that enjoyed winter weather uh, more and I'm I, I'm the same way uh, my mother on the other hand she's she she likes it warm she uh, she's always got the heater on I'm like. Ugh. She she's got a space heater in her uh, end of the house, and uh, she's always got that thing running. And uh, it's one one end of our house is cool, and one end of it's really warm. And I don't know how she stands it. I just she's always got that space heater. Well, not always, but almost always got that space heater going. And 
Um, she like I said, she likes it warm, but uh, I prefer it cool. So, well, listen, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, good to see you're on the on the air, and your radio's working good, and uh, I'm picking your uh, signal up pretty good on Simplex. So, uh, I mean, you're coming in real good. Um, so, uh, with that, I'll send it back to you and be clear on your final. K9 RMR. Okay, Random. Yep. This time of year is good on my back account. <laughs> Air conditioning doesn't work very much, and the furnace doesn't work very much, so uh, that helps me get through the rest of the year, so good talk to you, K9RMR, KCNIFQ. Okay, well like I said, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to talk to me, and uh, like I said, I'll, I'm sure we'll talk to, I'll talk to you again sometime, and uh, until then, uh, take it easy, relax, enjoy it, uh, KC9FQ, this is K9RMR saying, Good night, God bless, uh, 73, and I am clear.